Hey guys, it's Carger, and in today's video, we'll be doing a little guide on how to do or how to beat a 1v2, a 1v3, 4, 5, 6, etc. Because there are always those scenarios where you're in, let's say, comp, for example, and uh, let's just say the other team is up three rounds. You, ha you gotta beat this, let's say, 1v4 to win. But it's kind of hard. It could be an intimidating when you're, say, in this position and there's three guys all watching you. They see your ping on the radar and you have you have no idea what to do, so you kind of come out and you just get team shotted. I have done a quite a few of these, I'm gonna call them clutches, and uh, me and my friends, we like, we challenge ourselves trying to do these because it's really hard and, but there is a strategy to them. There's a method. So, basically the whole premise, the whole, what you're trying to accomplish here obviously is to wipe out the team without yourself dying because if you die once, you're done. The, if it's a 1v5 in comp, that means you have no lives and your other team has no people. They're all dead. This also works in trials because um, your other teammates might be down and they have the reses, so they're just kind of guarding them and you need to you need to defeat them. So it really works uh, well on any character. It's not like this is something that really it's like only good for hunters or only good for titans or something. Um, but really, what you're, wanna, what you're gonna want to do is kind of bait them. So when I say bait them, I mean like you want to try to draw them out. And, and it sounds like, oh well, yeah, Carger, it's that's kind of what we're expecting. You know, you gotta bait them out. But you don't want to stay in one place. I see a lot of people, especially in these scenarios, they'll kind of be like here and they'll try to peeking like, oh maybe I can get a maybe a little snipe or something. But then they'll stay here, kind of just not really doing something. In these scenarios, you never want to be sitting still. You always want to be moving. You want to be running around, putting pings on their radars, jumping around, because eventually, eventually these people will just, it's just natural, they'll just get, come out of their hiding spot. They're not gonna sit there if it's one guy and they have maybe four people, five people. If they're like with like three guys with two lives, five people. They're not gonna just wait around and, and if they want the match to be done, they're gonna push you. Eventually, they might say, oh, let's just let this guy push. We don't want him wiping us or something, but they're gonna push eventually. If you have a sniper and you're pretty good at sniping, this is a lot easier. You'll see in some of my clips where I kind of bait people out in my 1v5 video kind of bait them out and snipe them, snipe them, especially on that Widow's Court video that I did, the 1v4, um, where, uh, it was, it was kind of one of those, uh, it was those, um, I'm stuttering here, one of those scenarios where I killed the first guy and then I rotated around the church, I didn't stay in that one position, and then I came around to kind of something like this, like a little truck area, the little place where the heavy is, and I aimed and I sniped the guy. That's what you want to do. He was caught at, away from his teammates. He didn't know what to do. And I just, I capitalized on that. You want to bait everyone out. And there are certain ways you can do this. So like I said, you always want to be moving. And, but what you want to be doing is looking for angles. Looking for angles with your hand cannon, your auto rifle, whatever, whatever you play with. Just so that you can maybe find an angle. One of the things I like to do is, um take them away from the main lane if they're in the main lane and bring them away to the side or something and then jump back quickly in the main lane because if you're aiming the main lane somebody peeks from either side they're dead that's the whole thing with all these maps if you are the person aiming the main lane it doesn't matter if they're on these opposite sides or something or they have lives or something if they peek you're dead it's all about who can get to this place first in maps especially like the trials map this past weekend um for wormhaven it's like if you have mid control you have the game especially with those walls with the glass and stuff you just have to make sure you can get mid control because you're not going to really have a chance unless they're pushing you and they don't know what they're doing so you always want to have mid control you also i mean 
I think this goes without saying, but you have to be kind of a skilled player to pull this off. One thing I've learned, using Wardcliffe Coil is huge. This gun, or this rocket launcher right here, can almost guarantee 100% a kill, if not more. You've seen in my videos, I've gotten tons of them, and in, in one of my earlier montages, I got like, like five guys, and then I killed the other guy for an annihilation and control. Um, but it like this gun is insane. This rocket launcher is insane. You can because the thing is you don't even have to peek all the way. You just shoot. Like those rockets go everywhere. The, the people can try to dodge out of them, but they're just a blast radius of everything. And I don't even have the catalyst. I I mean I don't play strikes a lot, but I I mean I thought I played a few, but I still don't have the catalyst. The catalyst, if you don't know what it does makes it so that the every single rocket that you shoot has increased tracking which is crazy i mean could you think of a better catalyst for this weapon i mean that is just amazing another thing that you want to try to do is so first of all that what that right there you always want to get control of heavy that kind of goes with saying we want to control the mid you always want to control the heavy side also if you're say if you're like a little over half of your super um, a little over that halfway mark don't hesitate to be like oh, oh or don't don't say like oh I'm not I'm not close to my super I can't win this or I am just not gonna play for my super if you're over halfway You can easily play for your super especially if you have just even over like 50 intellect It's not that hard as long as you keep running and you make sure they don't catch you you can easily play for your super so those those two things right there are gonna like triple your odds of winning this getting that heavy making sure you you can play for your super because if they push into you and you have let's say heavy or something you can just wipe at least one one of them if not both of them and then when they respawn you pop your super you can even wipe all three th th these two things combined are yes. so deadly and now you don't have to use them, them at the same me. time you don't have to use them in the same place you can choose what you want you don't need to team shot with teammates or anything you can just depend on yourself and you can you know make sure that you control what happens they're the ones chasing you you're the one who has the control here you it's and you can just run around if they it's not like you're going to be losing lives they're they're already gone it's only one person against these against like four or five people one one v three or something if you just pick one that's huge if you can get heavy if you can get super it's all about those things the most important thing i'll tell you in this video play slow if you can play slow you have the game it's all about baiting them baiting them making them make mistakes most of the time if it's if it's not like a 1v2 um maybe even a 1v3 where you can you're like so sure you can get the kills on them you have good angles you have good positioning you already have like heavier super most of the time you're going to be wanting to play really really slow and one and also even if they have lives up on you don't be hesitant to use that super if you're in a bad position don't be don't don't say oh maybe i want to save this super for the next round or i'm going to go kill myself so then we then i don't give them super energy be, you're going to be confident you're going to say i can use this super and i can and i can get three or four of them and ev even if you get your super and you, and you only kill one guy let's say even if you kill nobody that's going to open up mid and if even if you have a sword even if you have something bad if they try to push you they're dead and so that gives you a defense option that makes it so that you just say you yes you did waste your super but it wasn't really a waste because you got mid control and mid control is everything mid control is everything mid control is heavy mid control is where they're gonna have to push when the tiebreaker pops up mid control is everything i'm gonna say that one more time if you can make what sure that you, you have a good rocket launcher something solid maybe not a rocket launcher maybe a grenade launcher calling is also good something that will drive them back and you can keep mid control you want you want them to fear you you don't want them to think you're a pushover and just ape you with shotguns or something like that use your grenades use your abilities push them back makes it makes it so that it they'll spread apart and you can get an easy pick or something you know don't make it don't make it easy for them don't sit in one spot and let them come to you i may have a few more of these that i'll post on my channel maybe like 1v3s and trials 1v2s so 
just keep a lookout for that and um i mean if you i mean you guys you probably you, you can probably understand how to do how to do these but these are just some good tips that i've learned out of playing comp and everything um just i don't know try try your best if you're in these situ um, situations stay calm don't don't kill yourself um one thing i've also learned is like it sounds funny but mute your teammates <laughs> They can they can tell you some pretty valuable information, but if they're yelling at you saying stuff that you know is gonna distract you, don't don't hesitate to mute them. Say guys, I'm I'm in I'm in a situation right now where I have to focus. I'm just gonna mute you for a second, and that I mean that could that can mean the mean the difference between a win and a loss. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you guys learned something, found this informative. Um, if you have any video ideas, comments, suggestions, leave them in the uh, comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next one.